In this episode, you will learn about the Holidays Library. Python Holidays Library is an efficient and fast library for determining whether a specific date is a holiday in a certain country or not. Only public holidays like Christmas, New Year, and so on can be detected. So you will need to install the library via pip install holidays. This is the list of the countries that are included in that library. So in the first column, we have the country's name, the ISO code in the second column, and the province or state available in that country potentially in the third column. So let's go ahead to our Visual Studio Code or any text editor of your choice. And let's go ahead and import holidays. We also want from date time to import date. As I live in Poland, I'm going to show you the Polish holidays for the next year 2021. So let's say for day in sorted and we want the holidays dot the country's name, which is Poland. We open parentheses and we need a key value pair here. So the key is years and the value is 2021 dot items and items is a function that returns a list containing the tuple for each key value pair and open close parentheses column and we want to print each day. All right, let's go ahead and open our terminal here. So Python main.py and there it is all the holidays for the next year 2021 for Poland. You can try to do the same for your own country, Italy, France, India, USA, Egypt, Russia, any country of your choice. Let's for the sake of fun, check out for the USA. So let's take the same code, copy, paste. Here we will change to USA, which is the ISO code, or you can write United States. Let me just comment these lines out. And there it is, the holidays for the United States of America for the next year, 2021. Let's for instance, try Russia. And let me comment these two lines out from the 1st to the 6th of January, New Year, Novi Gold means New Year, then Orthodox Christmas, Victory Day and so on. Let's say, for instance, that we are interested to check out the holidays for a state in the USA. And let's take the state of California as an example. And copy these two lines and here just I will print as a separator we need the date and we need the name of the holiday so we will need two iterators day and name and also inside here we will need the years and we will need the state which is equal to CA which stands for California and we want to print day and name let me just before checking that out, let me pull out the print statement out of that for loop. Otherwise it will be printed after each line. All right. So here above we have the holidays for the United States of America. And here we have the holidays for the state of California. All right, great. Um, the last thing that I would like to show you is how to check whether a given date is a public holiday or not in a specific country. So here we'll say check whether a given date is a public holiday or not. And let's create a variable, we'll call it US holidays. And this will be equal to holidays dot United States or USA. And let me repeat that, but here we will use Poland. And here we will take Poland as an example. And here we'll take France, for instance. Um, FR or just France. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead now and check out some dates. So the 1st of January 2020 in USA holidays and the same thing for both Poland and France. 
And let's go ahead and just before we do that, let me just comment these lines out and let's go ahead and try that. So, all right, so true, true, true. Here, this print statements evaluates to a Boolean value. So if it's a holiday, it evaluates to a true, else it evaluates to false or returns a false value. So in the three countries, the 1st of January is a public holiday, of course, which is the New Year's Day. And let's say that we want to get the name of that public holiday. We will say print also, we want to print the USA holidays dot get method and inside that method we will enter the date 1st of January 2021 20, uh, I'm sorry I made it for 2020 uh, because 2020 is almost done and let's say here we want it for Poland and France all right cool so let's go ahead and give that a try Perfect. So true, 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 uh, like we have seen above. Then the names of the holidays in the three countries, New Year's Day, Novi Rog, and Jour de l'An, which is a literal translation of day of the year. All right. So this was the holidays library in Python. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next videos.